a farm boy, hailed from up Prince Albert way. He farmed a quarter section there, but the darn thing wouldn't pay. So to supplement his income from that rocky prairie soil, out behind the barn was a copper pot and a big old copper coil. Now Herschel had a farm truck bought in 1953 with a water tank sitting in the back for everyone to see. What you couldn't see was beneath the hood was a big 426 and that tank in the back was filled with booze from a still out in the sticks. You could hear them knockies cheering as he thundered around the turn for his bow and arrow Kool-Aid was so strong that it would burn from Prince Albert down to Moose John without a hoosh tag on the back. Well, last Friday, Herschel made his run down highway number four with that big old tank filled with, you know what, and his foot down to the floor. He was doing 117 when the radar he went through. And the RCMP were five miles behind when a Herschel's tire blew. You could hear them now, he's cheering rolled over ten times, they say, and when it finally came to rest, there was rock gut whiskey spilled all around that tangled, twisted mess. And the sky lit up with a bluish hue as the cops came over the hill. We saw the last remains of Herschel Schultz cremated and triple distilled. Why, well, you could hear them mouthies cheering as he thundered round the turn. For his boat and narrow Kool-Aid was so strong that it would burn. From Prince Albert down to Moose Jaw for the boys down by the track. Here comes Herschel's heavy hat done without a hoose tank on the back. Well, thank you folks very much.